Hi guys. Well, tonight um, I'm going to be making a drink that I normally make every year for Christmas, which is eggnog. Um, <coughs> so what I've done is I've got um, some eggs, uh, which I have separated. So I've got the um, egg yolks in that bowl. So as you can see, so we've got the egg yolks in that bowl. And we've put the egg whites into a jug. They're going to be used later. Um, and then also I've got some caster sugar um, for the moment. So what I'm going to do is we're going to whisk the egg whites up until the, uh, the egg yolks, sorry. Gonna, they're going to be whisked up until um, they've got a pale yellow colour. And then we're going to mix in the sugar, uh, almost like a zoom um, a um, sponge cake. Okay guys, so the other thing we're going to use for this are, we've got bourbon, um, we have brandy, and then we have spice rum, or you can use any rum really, but uh, I'm using spice rum this year. Um, you're also going to need some cream and some milk as well, and nutmeg. Um, but we'll get to those parts later. So first of all, we're going to whip the or beat up the egg yolks until we've got a pale colour. So I'll get that done and then I will come back to you. Okay guys, the uh, egg yolks have been um, beaten up. Uh, there's about 20 egg yolks in here, very small egg yolks. Normally it can be, if you're doing large eggs, you, um, I'm using 15, but the recipe does say six, so I'm tripling it up to make uh, a bigger batch. Um, I'm using smaller eggs, medium eggs, so uh, I've added more uh, egg yolks to 20. Uh, I've got 600 grams of sugar, caster sugar, that's going to be beaten in now, uh, and then I'll show you the results at that point. Okay guys, so the um, yolks have been beaten, I've added the sugar, so you get this nice white or pale yellow um, consistency uh, of the egg yolks and the sugar. It's quite thick as well. Now for the alcohol, uh, we've got two cups of the bourbon. We have um, three quarters of a cup of the brandy and then we've got three quarters of a cup of the rum. I've also added six cups of um, double cream into that and that's all been whisked up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the alcohol in there and then this will sit in the fridge for 24 hours. So this time tomorrow it should be ready for the, um, the next steps. So I'll just add that, we'll beat that in and then it will go into the fridge. Actually guys, I forgot to add a few more ingredients before it does go in the fridge. Um, so I've added a little bit of vanilla uh, extract and I'm going to add some uh, ground nutmeg. Um, so that will go in. Um, so ground nutmeg. So just put that in because that adds a lovely uh, winter flavour. Um, so that will all go in, all the flavours will mix overnight and get better. So as I say, that's nearly ready, it's all been whisked up. I just got to put the vanilla extracts in, uh, just about two te teaspoons vanilla extract, and then I'll put the nutmeg in, uh, that will also flavour. Okay guys, so before it goes in, so obviously, because it's a review, and you have to test it, so I'll give it a nice little try. Well, that's good. I think it might need a little bit more alcohol. Okay. Okay, guys, I've covered the uh, bowl with the cling film. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the fridge um, for 48 hours. Uh, that lets all the flavours blend together. Um, and then next time, we're going to add 12 cups of milk. What that does, that is pretty strong with all the alcohol in, um, so you wouldn't last very long with that. So the milk, what it does is obviously it gives you more, uh, but it also just takes the flavors down to give you the hint. And then uh, before we 
uh, put it into the bottles because we're going to give some to the neighbours. We whisk the egg whites up uh, so they're like peaky and then we fold that into the mixture um, so it gives you the, uh, the bubbles in there, it makes it lighter and, and fluffier. So I'll come back to you tomorrow with uh, the next steps. Okay, take care guys. Hi guys, welcome back. So um, we've left the eggnog in the fridge, so that is now ready. It's been left uh, a couple of days actually. You can keep this in the fridge for quite some time because um, the alcohol in the eggnog will actually uh, preserve um, the egg, the yolks um, and the cream so it won't go off very quickly. So what we're going to do, <coughs> as you can see, eggnog is there. So what I'm going to do is I've got a big pan. I'm going to pour the eggnog into the pan because we're going to add quite a lot of milk. So I'll do that now. I'm going to keep some of the bottom bit because I want the to make sure all sugar's dissolved. So I'm going to add a, some of the milk into there and then whisk that up. So it smells absolutely gorgeous. And so as you remember, it's got the brandy in, it's got the rum in, and it's got the bourbon in. Um, so, we want to add 12 cups of milk, so I use whole milk, so what we're to do is do six in here. going to do is whisk this up um, just to get um, the rest of the sugar that may have settled on the bottom uh, of, of the tub. So I'm going to add another six cups, that's 12 cups of milk in total. Six, actually. Let's be generous, that's a little bit more. But first of all, before we do that, we'll give it a mix. Perfect. Right, so that's that section done. Right, I don't think we're going to need to add any more milk actually. That seems to be enough. So now the final thing we need to do with the eggnog um, is the egg whites which you separated. Uh, I've been storing them in the fridge. What you want to do is you want to beat those up um, to form uh, stiff peaks. That's then going to be folded into the mixture. 
And what that does is it gives it like a, a lighter flavor or an, a lighter consistency. So it aerates the whole thing. Um, so I'll get that done now and then I'll come back to you. And so the egg whites are in the bowl and then we'll start to whisk that. Okay guys, so the egg whites have been whipped, uh, they're nice and uh, airy. So what we want to do is fold this into the eggnog mixture. So I'll just move that out of the way and then move the pan in. Um, so that will go in, so we'll fold that in and it looks like snow. So I think that's why they do it and it gives you a nice... Okay guys, so that is the finished um, product. As you can see, it's quite nice and airy. Um, the egg whites give it um, a fluffy feel. So now what we're going to do is say, just ladle some of this into the glass. It can be a bit, a bit um, messy, so just give the glass a quick clean. When you do serve this, you should have um, a ladle for drinks. If you serve it into, put it into a, um, a bowl, a nice bowl with a ladle, um, and then that should be fine. And then to finish off, just a quick, um, a quick uh, dash of nutmeg. Okay guys, so that is the traditional eggnog, uh, just with a dusting of nutmeg on top. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like, please subscribe to our channel for more um, in the kitchen um, reviews um, and baking uh, with myself and Justin. Uh, we'll post them as often as possible. Uh, we'll be doing some reviews for you in the future of different things. If there's anything you want to see, uh, please comment below and, and then we'll have a look about getting that done for you. So as always, take care guys and have a lovely day.